26 degrees at 2 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm John Healy. News Radio 930 WBEN. Top stories this Monday, February 12th. It's not lake effect this time. An old-fashioned winter storm is headed our way. Meantime, they continue digging out in Oswego County. I lived in Paris since 1953, and I think this is about the worst I've ever seen it. And our big news item Sunday, Buffalo firefighters outright reject a contract with the city. Today, WBEN's Barbara Burns has more on the story. The exclusive WBEN AccuWeather forecast calls for an inch or two in Buffalo with several inches in South Towns and Ski Country today. Well, it appears some light snow showers are picking up in parts of western New York this hour. You will want to be near your radio beginning tomorrow as we track a major winter storm as it creeps up from the Gulf near Texas. Several states are bracing for major snowfall. In Buffalo, Steve McLaughlin fills us in from the National Weather Service. For the first time this year, we're going to have a general snowfall. and We're going to have a general moderate to heavy snowfall starting tomorrow afternoon, probably late afternoon, early evening. And it should be, be mainly focused on tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. And right now it looks like we should all get at least eight inches of snow, and some of the areas could get over a foot. So that's going to be for everybody. The National Weather Service is verifying reports of more than 12 feet of snow on the ground at Oswego County, which has been hammered by lake effect snows for nine straight days. Unlike Lake Erie, Lake Ontario has greater depth and never freezes in the same Arctic blast that we've been feeling in western New York triggered that lake's snowmaking machine and put it into high gear. Well, it wasn't simply turned down, it was overwhelmingly rejected. WBEN's Barbara Burns with the latest between the city of Buffalo and its firefighters. The contract negotiated between the city and fire union went down in flames, overwhelmingly rejected by the rank and file. They've spoken loud and clear. Union Vice President Peter Marjoram says firefighters have too many health care questions, have gone too long without a raise, and are giving back too many vacation and personal days. Under the circumstances with the control board and the uh, the handcuffs more or less that were that were put on us that this was basically the the best deal at this time that we were going to have offered to us and that's why we felt that well if this is all there is we need to let our membership look at it, warts and all, and let them make a, a, a good, educated uh, d- decision on it. Marjoram is hoping the two sides can sit down at the bargaining table once again in a few months and try and hammer out another deal. Barbara Burns, News Radio 930 WBEN. WBEN News Time 202. The Orleans County Sheriff's Office and New York State Police are continuing the now a homicide investigation into the death of a town of Shelby man. Under Sheriff Stephen Smith says 47-year-old Kevin Smith was found dead in his Smith Road home Friday afternoon by a neighbor who went to check on him. The uh, Monroe County Medical Examiner's Office performed the autopsy. They concluded that the uh, manner of death was homicide and the cause of death was gunshot wounds. Officials ask anyone with information about Kevin Smith to contact the Orleans County Sheriff's Office. Well, House Democratic leaders are circulating a non-binding resolution that disapproves of the president's plan to send more than 20,000 additional troops to Iraq. A vote is expected Friday. Meanwhile, in Baghdad today, at least 80 people were killed in bombings, including at least 71 in a crowded marketplace. And the Justice Department's Inspector General says today three to four FBI laptops are lost or stolen on average each month. The report also finds the agency is often unable to even say if the machines have information that's sensitive or classified. Checking the WBEN Upper Capital Management 30-minute ticker of the Dow is down 9 points. The NASDAQ down 8 points. WBEN Newstime going on 204. The latest from AccuWeather coming up.